Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Farzana Raja from my channel, Farzana Raja Official. Many greetings. Today, I'm going to discuss a very important issue, which is a great concern for everybody who's living in this world. Many people who are trying to cross the borders every day are those who are living on the borders, having or facing a lot of atrocities on daily basis. I'm talking about those who are living on the tense borders. For example, India and Pakistan's border, Pakistan and Afghanistan's border, many parts of India's borders with China and other neighboring countries, and so many other borders like Libya and Italy's border, Mexico and America's border, and so many other countries in the world, their borders and where people are not lo only losing their lives, losing their uh, loved ones, and they are facing a lot of atrocities. If I talk about a latest example of Italy and Libya's uh, uh, agreement between these two countries to stop illegal immigrants, smugglers, or uh, criminals. But unfortunately, smugglers and criminals get their way very easily but the real people who are trying to have a better life in europe when they are trying to cross uh, with documents or without documents and unfortunately if they are returned back to libya they are being uh, killed murdered raped um, kidnapped and on and on and on many problems they are facing so this has created a concern for the world, uh, especially all countries who are member of United Nations. There are 195 countries who are a member of United Nations at this point. And there are two countries, they are non-members observing like Palestine and uh, Holy See. So all these countries, somehow, somewhere, they have some tensions on the borders, which are impacting the human life human beings' life on the daily basis. This is a big humanitarian crisis, I would say. That has to be resolved. And United Nations Secretary General and United Nations, all other uh, relevant organizations working in partnership with United Nations, they are trying their best to bring everybody on board and all stakeholders to follow uh, the rules and to follow the laws to bring uh, peace and security for the people who deserve uh, this treatment. But unfortunately, as I have given you a latest example of Italy and Libya, uh, uh, even all other concerns, all stakeholders' concerns, they are not able to resolve the issue. The European Union has to come forward because they always uh, call themselves and they are known for human rights champions. They should come forward and resolve the problem for those innocent who are in the garb of criminals and smugglers, uh, in, uh, in the garb of that law and rules, they are being uh, killed and they are being traumatized uh, by the Libyan government. So that has to be uh, uh, resolved as soon as possible. If I'm talking about Indian and Pakistani border, in Kashmir, if I look at that, many families have lost their loved ones, have lost uh, their crops, have lost their um, uh, um, uh, livelihood, their well-being. And they have moved from those villages which are on the border because of this tension and danger faced by them every day. If I talk about Afghanistan and Pakistan's border, so people living half of them are living on this side of the border towards pakistan and half of them are uh, relatives living on the other side of the border towards afghanistan but every day they are facing these atrocities when they are crossing the border to meet their family and friends for their uh, happiness joy and sorrows when they get together and any when they get united they face these type of problems and sometimes there's no doubt in the garb of friends and family 
there are some uh, unwanted uh, personalities or individuals like terrorists and criminal groups, they uh, use them as a bait as well. So who is getting impacted negatively at the end? My answer is, and everybody's answer is, the common people, the, the innocent people, because this is not their fault. They are being used uh, in the process or they get used in the process and they get uh, they, they become a collateral damage. So I would say at this point, uh, and I would support the United Nations um, uh, efforts towards uh, the this humanitarian crisis, which is faced by the common people at the borders while living there or crossing them for their better life and better uh, for, for their families, uh, better lives. I have heard those news and I have seen those news when on the border of Mexico, when they are being chased by the criminals and they just throw their children across the border. Why do they throw their children across the border? So at least if they are killed, their children are protected and they cross the border and they will have a better life and they will have a life. So this is heart wrenching uh incidents and events that we see every day all over the world so i would say that this is a very important issue that needs to be addressed as soon as possible not only by united nations not only by uh, other you know, few countries it everybody has to be united and we have to have a consensus uh, to be together as a, as a world as a universe because we have become a universal family. We are no more a global village. We have become a universal family. And this universal family has to work hands and gloves with each other to resolve those issues. So that's how common people are not uh, affected uh, by these policies and by these tensions uh, between the countries and uh, between some groups. So that, uh, for today, I hope uh, we get some lessons out of it and I will come back with other stories uh, soon. So I would appreciate that if you subscribe my channel, you will get my videos as soon as uh, I publish one. Thank you. God bless you and take care.